What's going on guys? We are back again with another statue review and today we have Nathan Summers Cable in the house tonight looking mighty beefy, mighty glorious and we can't wait to share our thoughts with you. Stay tuned. All right, guys, thank you so much for checking out our YouTube channel. And for those of you that have subscribed, left comments, we really appreciate it. Um, I'm super stoked. I feel instantly like a nine-year-old child all over again. <laughs> um, one of my favorite characters, uh, Cable, is released by Sideshow in the premium format. Uh, this is the exclusive edition. And man, I could not ask for a better Cable statue. Um, just the level of badass that is just oozing from this guy right now is just insanity um we have a couple different swap out features that we'll be showing we're going to be just doing a review today guys um the unboxing is really simple and we'll kind of just explain a couple heads up and some things on that um as we're kind of going through this but uh really not warranted as far as um instructional usage as far as a um unboxing video would go. So we just decided we would jump right into the review and kind of share our thoughts on cable. So we'll go ahead and start where I always like to start, the base. <laughs> um, and once again, we got quite a bit of action and things to talk about here. So um, first off, it looks like we have the continuing um, uh, X-Mansion uh, battle scene kind of ensuing here. Um, it's hard to kind of see because Cable's gigantic gun here, but it looks almost like you're on the steps or no, um, the here. threshold. Yeah, yeah, right? Of the X-Mansion. Mm -hmm. That was my first thought immediately, especially before you see the statue on here and you really just see the kind of stepping effect. It does look like it's on the steps. Mm -hmm. um, and then we have, similar to... Um, Mystique, we have an Xavier School for Gifted uh, Youngsters sign, but we can see um, some visible damage done from uh, Cable's teleportation. So we have like some total burn marks here and it's uh, just like uneven and laying on the floor, mm -hmm. uh, kind of battle damage and stuff. Looks really cool though. Um, when I was looking at the prototypes before, I haven't gone back to check, of course, I'm sure it was there and I never noticed it, but I didn't remember seeing some of the burn marks here. So I thought that was a really nice touch when I unboxed it. I was kind of surprised to see that, but it really just kind of adds uh, the look to uh, the action that we know just kind of happened prior to this pose, which is him kind of stepping out of or teleporting um, to the scene. So I just love the way that looks. Uh, a lot of rubble and uh, debris and stuff inside the X uh, crevices here mm -hmm. as well. Um, and again, the paint job and the sculpt on it just looks phenomenal. I mean, really everything is sculpted really well. Uh, the gold looks gold and, and um, kind of you know, not one solid color either. Uh, we have some of the um, the black and and really bright gold um, pieces in there to make it look like it was a monument or like a plaque of some sort that's metal. Mm -hmm. That's been kind of uh, exposed to the elements after a period of time. So looks really good. Uh, we have some uh, metal beams as well too in the rubble. So something obviously uh, taking down the mansion or, you know, causing some destruction there. Um, another couple surprises I did not know were part of the base and just missed were both the Cerebro um, component in the base. So you can actually see uh, Professor X's Cerebro of Mass there. And then um, some of the cable as well too. Let's see if I can get a better shot. Uh, yeah, you can kind of see it back there. The portals do kind of get in the way. And then what was uh, the other one, Latrice? You were the Wolverine's cowl. Yeah, w Wolverine's cowl there. I didn't know either one of those were in the base. I didn't either. So, and in fact, I noticed the Cerebro right away because of the contrasting um, mm -hmm. silver here. Uh, but actually it was quite a bit after I had the uh, statue assembled that I'm looking down and I was like, holy moly, that's Wolverine's cowl right there too. I noticed like the tip of his nose and stuff. Yeah. So really, really cool details and a lot to look at just on the base alone. Um, and again, um, I just can't say enough about the paint app here um, and kind of the weathering effect that they did on the bricks. Mm -hmm. I mean, it really looks like bricks and stuff. And, 
Um, so just some really nice work there. Um, we did talk about um, Iron Studios Punisher, um, which had a base with some bricks and a um, kind of a, a, what is it? Like a rooftop scene. Okay. Yeah, and it, it the coloration was not quite where I would have liked it and a couple of the textures and things like that. So again, here, the church buildings with, um, with uh, Daredevil. Daredevil and Electra. Yeah, I feel like um, there's where Sideshow shines a little bit. There's some really good details here them to make it look very realistic. I mean, mm -hmm. it really looks like you want to reach out and touch it to see if it is real. So yeah. nicely done. Um, any other thoughts on the base Latrice before we kind of move up? No. Nope, All right. Either. Let's kind of go through the rest of it. So we have the body sculpt here. The pose is a more um, museum-esque pose than I feel like Sideshow's been leaning in recently. But I feel like for the character... It matches. It, it's good for him. Absolutely, yeah. right? He has that stoic kind of badass um, look about him right now. So, mm -hmm. I mean, everything about Cable <laughs> is that. So um, I think it matches his personality. Yeah. And... Um, and then also, too, we have um, the paint app here that I want to talk about, which I think is, once again, expertly done. Um, I really like the weathering on um, the kind of shin guards and the boots and stuff. Um, even when you look, yeah, right it there. It looks the like it's... Um like a squishy yeah like a, a padded <laughs> like material a padding, yeah. yeah exactly that's very porous there's almost like those uh those skin tone lines i'm I'm sure you can kind of see that there in the in the photo uh or in the video i'm trying to make it focus um but yeah again like every little detail the closer you get and stuff really shines through and just adds look at the stitching kind of right there mm -hmm. it's not all even it's kind of like uh wavering a little bit i mean everything about it looks like it's really there the bunching in certain parts of the costumes as well too just really adds for the realism it's not like that you know skin painted almost looking mm -hmm. uh comic book costume it looks like it's fabric it absolutely looks like it's fabric without it being fabric mm -hmm. you know and then let's talk about this gigantic gun <laughs> i mean this is huge i'm gonna back this up a little bit so you can just see but i mean even in camera it looks way smaller than it is yeah it's uh, if it was if you were to stand it like straight up on the table yeah look at latrice's hand be, right there yeah it would be about <laughs> half his size yeah it is not more it's gigantic yeah i mean like i knew it was big i saw it in the pictures when i <laughs> took the lid off of the styrofoam um casing and i saw it i was like whoa yeah. it totally blew my mind um yeah, and then of course we have the um, arm that is infected by the techno organic virus that Apocalypse infected him with as a child. Um, it just looks as expertly done as well. I mean, aside from the sculpting, all of the little lines, all the components here, um, there's also the shine that is done really well. As you start to turn it, it's like the you know most uh raised parts of the statue always shine and then there's a little bit of some shadowing done to accentuate uh the muscling and yeah and just the, sh the 3d effect of it i mean it's beautifully done mm -hmm. um the uh the gloves on that as well too you can see the fingertips that you know all of them are kind of pulled away nothing's just kind of all one piece um it looks really 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 well done um, let's keep moving up. Um, but before we get into the portrait, which again, just like everything else here is looking great. I want to com um, comment on those huge shoulder pads too. <laughs> totally a Robert, uh, Rob Liefeld, uh, kind of look there. Huge. They're like, you know, each shoulder pads like bigger than his head. Mm -hmm. And, um, that's definitely a classic old school look for cable. So, yeah. I would have been happy either way, but I was really happy they leaned heavy into that classic look. I mean, shoulder pads and uh, what did you say, Latrice? Pockets or? Oh, uh, the pouches. Pouches. Pouches for days. Pouches for days. Pouches for days and <laughs> shoulder pads for days and yeah. guns for days. And that is cable. Put all those things together, mix yeah. it up, bake on 360 for an hour and you got cable. Um, so I really like the way that came out as well. Mm. Um, nicely done there. Uh, then we have one last blaster here, a little bit more of an easy uh, one-hander shooter. Uh, definitely looks like it's some sort of uh, space or futuristic uh, tech uh, kind of gun there, but it's really nicely done as well. Um, Latrice, you want to yes. talk about the poncho? 
I think it looks really good. Dude, I love the I, poncho. It looks really worn, like he's been wearing it for forever. You can see there's some, like, I mean, I'm, I assume they used bleach to kind of yeah, oh. uh, bleach it out. There's little splotches. Yeah. The, the cut is really good. And you sculpted it. Really nicely. Oh, well, thanks. <laughs> yeah. Um, I know a lot of people aren't always the fans of the mixed media. I love mixed media, especially when done right like this. Yeah. Um, I mean, it looks like a very unique piece. Um, but the thing that I love about mixed media is you get to put your own spin on it and look, um, you know, to the statue and kind of make it your own a little bit. I think some people don't like mixed media because they don't know what to do with it. Mm -hmm. And so... Um, yeah, I mean, to each their own, and it's definitely an easy option to pull off, and it looks just as good without it, but I really, really love the way this looks. I think it adds a lot to the statue, adds a little movement, mm -hmm. um, to a statue that's a little bit more museum-esque. Yeah, see the wind blowing. 100%, right? You can kind of see the wind at a bunch of different angles. You can yeah. kind of see the wind blowing, at, or, you know, maybe it's not even the wind, maybe it's the impact of the portals kind of mm -hmm. opening, you know, but nonetheless, there's motion that's kind of added there. Um, I did have to kind of bunch the, uh, poncho right here so that it got a little bit of a, um, like, I don't know, what would you call that? Where you can kind of cover half your face or whatever with the poncho, oh, you know, like a protective yeah, effect. Like a mask kind of. Yeah. So I had to kind of bunch it a little bit myself. Um, otherwise it was just going to be one big, huge uh, lump of cloth right there in the yeah. front. And so I had to kind of create each one of those ripples and fold it, um, to create these like. Uh, lines and stuff in there but well worth it because once it's done i really think it adds a lot to the statue yeah. myself personally um all right and uh last but not least let's kind of get into the portrait so once again we have a epic portrait by sideshow when you get really close you can see some of the freckling effects mm -hmm. um you can see the five o'clock shadow and stubble um kind of effects like it's very is uh his uh, beard or poor uh, marks right there are kind of done in a different style than like his forehead and the rest of his um, the rest of his uh, face and skin. Uh, so it just looks really, really well done. You can see some veins in the back. Um, you know, there's a lot of really good detail in that portrait. Uh, veins on his forehead right there too. You just have this like really epic. Um, uh, badass like cable sculpture there yeah um let's see oh you had brought up to latrice like you weren't sure if um if the scars and the eyes were on the right side so we kind of confirmed that in the comics uh that is so that was a really cool little detail shout out um yeah as far as assembly goes guys it's pretty simple um major body all the way through you have the arm that connects at the shoulder um you have the head portrait of course his one ear does have a key piece which is this like kind of communicator he has there so you do put that in yourself um and then one thing i would call out is make sure to get shoulder pads on first before you do the guns because it would not um, pass of course there so you have to kind of call that piece out um i I know that you do lay the poncho on top, but I was able to put a slight part of the rim underneath the poncho on the side. That did kind of help me just gain some control over forming it. So little tip there too, if you're able to work that out, but overall I like it out on top. Mm -hmm. um, and then let's talk about the portals and stuff really quick, Latrice. So what do you think of the portals? I think they look really cool. Yeah, I um, think they look really they good too. They add a little something to it. One thing that's really cool about them too is that they are a little see-through. So um, yeah, and they're not. It doesn't feel like cheap plasticky. It's yeah, like resin. When I um, first unboxed it, I had a light on um, on my bar back there, and you can actually see through. Yeah. And um, I thought it looked really good. I've seen a couple collectors as well um, do some really cool lighting effects um, to make those illuminate a little bit so kudos to them um, I think it looks really good so people are definitely out there um, customizing and having fun with their cable statues um, you have basically three major portals so one of them which is the largest um, attaches here behind uh, the gun so there's a key behind here and that is really a big um, portal piece right there. 
Then you have one that attaches behind his uh, left shin, basically. And um, that's a smaller one. And then there's one that attaches at the floor in the back. And that's the exclusive piece. So right now we have them uh, displayed with the exclusive piece, which is this portal, which has um, most of Deadpool's arm attached to that portal. Then there's a separate piece, which is the wrist down, holding a Deadpool doll that um, says best on there. It's like a best friend's uh, locket. Um, very nice little cool touch, uh, you know, real uh, chain, real locket right there. Um, really adds a lot of character without taking away from Cable's mm -hmm. uh, kind of, again, stoic presence here. Um, his killer badass presence. Uh, but it is something uh, really fun to kind of chuckle at. And everyone knows Deadpool, so yeah. it's really funny. And I think I will be um, displaying him this way pretty much the entire time. I'm going to go ahead and pack up the other um, options. But um, so they did send two other options as well. So this is the collector piece. Um, like I said, it does attach through like a little brick um, and a key on the back there. It would be right so around just right where this one is. Yeah, so this would be removed and that would sit on top exactly like the tree set. So right. um, the other option that you have if you want to take that down is you have just a regular brick that would cover the keyhole right there. Yeah. And um, the other uh, portals are pretty much not visible from the front because it's behind the leg. And then it's also behind the gun and they are um, kind of well like shadowed and stuff, you know, in the gun, it just looks like it's a component of the gun because there's all these different things happening there. So um, you wouldn't even notice it if you rotated it around, I feel like, but um, yeah, and I wasn't sure how I was going to feel about the portals when I saw them in the um, pictures and stuff. But uh, once again, once I see it in person, I really like the kind of motion, if you will, yeah. that it adds to the... And I mean, it adds a little color, too. Yeah, it adds some color, yeah. And I, I can't get over that Deadpool arm. I mean, like, I feel like that's <laughs> too killer to pass up. Yeah. So um, I'm definitely going to keep that up. So, yeah. Um, all right, I think... I think I covered everything. Latrice, was there any last minute thoughts or anything that I missed? No, I think you got it all. Yeah, we're we're both just like very thankful <laughs> and very uh, stoked on the workmanship that Sideshow is putting forward right now. Yeah. So I um, want to add that voice out there because I know there's a lot of naysayers and complainers and different things like that. So uh, there are a couple of happy campers over here. <laughs> um, and this cable is... Again, one of my favorite characters. So I could not be happier with what they produced. Uh, very first cable, um, premium format statue or quarter scale, scale statue by St Sideshow. And I feel like for their very first attempt at um, doing this char park. character, absolutely, they knocked it out of the park. I feel like they captured everything they needed to. So thank you, Sideshow and mm -hmm. team. All right, guys. Well, uh, we will be back in the near future. I have Domino on her way any second. I have seen quite a few pictures online, and she looks like another epic addition. Mm -hmm. Really nicely executed, so I cannot wait to get her in. Um, and then after that, I think I have Spider-Man coming. And then we might have a little bit of a wait until we start getting some of our summer releases in, right? For the yeah. rest of we'll the X-Men in January. Oh, Gene in January. Yeah. That's right. Okay. It's Gambit and, uh, Gambit and Cyclops. Cyclops in the summer. Okay. So we got a couple more coming, guys. Um, so if you have any questions, comments, please leave them. We love them. And we make sure and try to reply to all of them. Um, if you guys can, subscribe and like. Um, and we hope that you join us for the next uh, Side to Review at the I&L Danger Room. <laughs> Thanks.